वेलकम आई एम जिग्यास सिंह एंड वेलकम टू द लास्ट एंड द फाइनल लेक्चर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस एंड सर्किट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट आईसी फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ द फैब्रिकेशन ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट दिस इटसेल्फ इज अ वेरी हाईली डेवलप सेमी कंडक्टर टेक्नोलॉजी सो दीज आर द स्टेप्स ऑफ आईसी फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस step number 1 is preparation of substrate second is epitaxial growth third is oxidation fourth is photolithography or lithography fifth is diffusion sixth is iron implantation Se iron implantation seventh is the isolation technique and eighth is the metalliz metallization yes so i would start by saying that it has four basic layers about which i'll talk the most the layer number 1 is the substrate now this substrate this is the bottom layer the most bottom layer okay now the second layer is the it is a very thin layer this second layer see this is the first layer the substrate this is the second layer this is the n type epitaxial layer on which we will build all our active and passive components now our third layer it is the sio2 layer this is the sio2 layer this layer it protects the our wafer against all the impurities and it provides its it protection from contamination last layer is the aluminum layer which is over here right now this layer is necessary to supply all the interconnections between the components now let's start with the process these were just the layers which uh, i wanted you to give the rough idea about and these are the steps so let's start it in step number 1 we prepare the substrate which kind of substrate p type substrate the raw material which is used to make a single crystal what is single crystal i mean the monolithic ic yes to make this a single crystal silicon we use egs that means electronic grade silicon now the silicon wafer is produced by growing crystal wait a second yes the raw material to make a single crystal is electronic grade silicon the silicon wafer is produced by growing crystal and it is then trimmed then it is sliced then it is cleaned then it is polished to appropriate size or diameter in step number 2 we do the epitaxial growth what does it mean it means that growing a layer on the substrate crystal structure a n plus layer is grown on the p type substrate suppose in the first diagram you can see the first diagram i showed you right this was my p substrate and on it i just like this i made a n plus layer do you remember on the p type substrate this thing this layer is called this n layer is called the epitaxial layer and this is of n type for this monolithic ic that we are considering now all the active and passive components are built on it what do i mean by active and passive components obviously they are the resistor they are the capacitor they are the transistor they are the diodes right yes the step 3 is oxidation what is this it is a process to prevent the diffusion of impurities what is used for it sio2 is used for it which acts like a barrier against the contamination it acts like a bodyguard why because it provides the protection of the semiconductor surface against contamination step number 4th is called photolithography or it can come with the name of only lithography now it is a process which produce a device circuit or pattern on the silicon wafer okay now how what is used for this ultraviolet light exposure is used for this now it has two steps step number 1 is called masking photographic 
photographic masking now what we are doing in photographic masking it contains the circuit pattern circuit or the pattern information and image of this mask is projected on the silicon wafer now what we are in this what we are doing we are making a mask just understand the term we are making a mask and then we are projecting it we are imprinting it on the our silicon wafer and then we etch it step number 2 then we etch it etching means that we are creating that pattern by removing the material selectively by using either the wet etching or dry etching wet etching is done by chemicals and dry etching is also known as the physical etching now this masking is it is just an artwork okay it just a circuit it just a pattern it contains the information and this imprint we are you know it's we are projecting it on our silicon wafer and then we etch it we remove all the material selectively and the unwanted material is also removed as well by using these process step number 5 is called diffusion we have studied a lot about diffusion so in this here the diffusion means the movement of impurity atoms in a semiconductor now this process this is specifically done at high temperature and the depth of diffusion depends on the amount of time we are giving for it if we are giving large amount of time then the diffusion will also be large the depth of diffusion will be large if we are giving less amount to it then the depth of the diffusion will be low now the ion implantation is an alternative to the diffusion process while the diffusion process was being done on the high temperature this is done at the low temperature now what we are doing in this in this the high energy dopant ions are accelerated so that they penetrate our silicon wafer and here the depth of the penetration is controlled by the accelerating voltage if we are increasing the accelerating voltage the depth of penetration will also increase one thing i want to say you about this video is that this is the simplest video this is the the most simplest material which you can find on ic fabrication process i have deliberately not made the diagrams along with it a because you know they are they are so 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 confusing that's why i made the diagram in the first minute in the first uh, slide itself and then i'm only telling you the process so that when you are taking the screenshot you are able to remember that what it is about rather than focusing on the diagram okay so i hope that this is very very helpful because i tried really hard for uh, to make it very very simple for you so let's move on to the step number 7 now isolation why we are doing isolation because we want to separate we don't want our components and interconnection to be merged so we can do it with the two methods or we have two types of uh, isolation number one is very obvious our dielectric isolation how we are doing it we are doing it with sio2 because we know that it is the ultimate kind of insulating material right we know it second is the pn junction isolation now in this what is happening that our p type impurities are diffused into the n type epitaxial layer due to which the components and the interconnection are separated so this is the last step of fabrication process which is called metalli metallization now in this process what we are doing we are adding a thin aluminum film layer to interconnect various component now after that what we will do we will just do the assembling and after that we will do the packaging and after that we will take it to the market in a truck hmm so now you will ask me that ma'am why we are using only this aluminum so i'll tell you why because number 1 it is a good conductor right number 2 it has good mechanical bonds with silicon third is that it forms a low resistant contact 
and fourth is that you know it can be applied and it can be patterned into with a single deposition only and you know we just have to make a single etching process so it's quite easy and it is the best one that's why we are preferring our aluminium so that was it that uh, that's all you need to know for the ic fabrication process you need to know the meaning of each and every steps and of course the order if you are already in fourth year uh, you might have studied it in vlsi designing also in that they have explained it in much detail so you can also refer that but for gate this much is more than enough so in the next video or the final video i want to the lectures are of course complete i want to give you one more video in which we will do the full electronic devices and circuits revision under 30 minutes because you know i want you to have a small uh, video which you can see while doing the revision rather than going through all of the videos in the playlist so that will be my last gift to you and apart from that all the very very best for gate i hope that uh, you know you are studying well and you get good rank one day and all your dreams come true so uh, thank you so much and bye